champion campione are you drained like just from all types of of energy in your life because of the constant battles that you are busy fighting like it almost feels like in one day there are 10,000 battles 10,000 fires you need to kind of put out and so forth and it's draining you and like the more you try and and fight these battles the more it ultimately leads to nowhere if that is you in this video I want to just share a couple of ideas and thoughts with you guys with regards to just learning and discerning that of fighting the right battles the ones that actually matter because there's some battles there's some fights there are some things that we really don't need to be spending any type of energy on all right because when we do do that it ends up draining us from the energy that is required and needed for actually fighting the things that we are supposed to be fighting and the analogy that I want to use today that hopefully serves you in a huge way is that of both the rugby as well as the cricket world cup now obviously I'm personally from from SA from South Africa and like you know more recently South Africa did exceptionally well actually in both World Cups okay namely in the cricket we got through to the semi-finals and in the rugby World Cup of course till now we are the campeones we are the, the campeones uh, the, the champs of, of the globe of the world right regarding that now what's fascinating about those two World Cups I'm going to focus on the on the one player from the rugby World Cup now what's fascinating is not once during the entire time of the Cricket World Cup, did I see Sia Kulisi, who's South Africa's rugby captain, not once did I see him play a single game in the Cricket World Cup. Fascinating, right? Why? Because cricket ain't his game, right? That's not his battle. That's not the race he's been called to run. He's been called to captain SA as well as to play rugby and he does it exceptionally well and because he's focused on that guess what happens all right it makes him an exceptional player why because the life that you experience is the life that you pay attention to two so what's the point William the point is many of us are completely starved of all types of energy because sorry I got some hair or something on my nose yeah, I went for a little haircut earlier on today as you guys can see all right but many of us are starved for for energy let me not even use the word starved let me rather say drained from the energy that God has blessed us with because we end up fighting the wrong fights we like for example uh, just again an, an analogy it's like a rugby player trying to play cricket right though there might be you know some kind of progress if they really want to be exceptional they need to focus on their discipline all right meaning rugby specifically okay now the same applies to us many of us are fighting fights or fighting battles we've never even been called to fight in the first place and again like i've shared when you end up doing that what ends up happening is now you are left with no more energy to actually fight the fight that you've been called to fight remember when you begin to move in the direction that God wants and desires for you to move in, which by the way, is to prosper you, not to harm you. His plans are to give us a hope and a future. But when you begin moving in that direction, I can guarantee you that one thing that will come your way is something called distractions distractions will come your way and distractions come to completely drain you from all types of energy therefore you need to know what is actually important and what is your actual priorities within life remember just because you do something that is not important does not now make that thing important just because you did it I think part of life is simply learning what is your actual priorities and what is not your priorities and then once you discover what your priorities are pour everything you possibly have into those priorities because that is how you're going to move the needle forward you are not going to move the needle forward by fighting fights you've never been called to fight my friend no you've been called to run a particular race both you as well as the person watching next to you over there all right as well as the person that you don't like you've been called to run a particular race now for you to run that race if a marathon one if a marathon runner if a marathon runner wants to be a successful runner what do they need to do they need to focus on what they sprinting 100 meters no they need to focus on the race that they've ultimately been called to run so i encourage you today to run the race you've been called to run because the only thing here we go the only thing that we should be drawing our identity from is what God says we are. 
That's the only place we're supposed to be drawing our identity from. Not from what this person thinks about us. Not from what that person thinks about us. Only what God thinks about us. That's where we are supposed to be drawing our identity from. Once we draw our identity from Him and receive the grace that He has for every single one of us, then we can respond to that grace through running the race He's actually called us to run. And that's that, my friend, is a battle worth fighting. I'm telling you. By you pouring all of your energy into that race, my friend, may you run that race with perseverance. May you run that race with persistence. May you run that race with determination. May you run that race with focus, focusing and fixing your eyes on things above where Christ is, which is our victory. So no more spending energy on distractions and on the shiny objects. No, focus on the race that God has called you to run. Because remember, we don't experience life. We experience the life that we pay attention to. That's what we got for you guys today. If you got something out of this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe over there. It means a lot to us that you guys are subscribing. A lot of the statistics say on our YouTube channel that a lot of you that are watching aren't subscribed yet. So please go ahead and do that. Smash the like button. Share this with a friend. Do all of those YouTube things. And then until next time, in between time, know today that your voice matters.